I bought flights uh, for my holidays from a Spanish company called eDreams, which is a flight comparison flight. When they sold me the ticket, uh, which was 950 euros, I bought an option called flexible travel date for 101 euros. But when I wanted to actually change my flight, uh, they first of all wanted to charge me 1,000 euros to change it. When I went on to Trustpilot and made a fuss, they said they would change it, but I had to pay 130 euros, which I would not get back. They said it was because I'd actually bought an insurance policy, but I did not buy an insurance policy. I bought something that's called flexible travel data. They don't reply and uh, just don't buy a ticket from them. We decided to go uh, to India on holiday last year and then to Japan. So on the 12th of April, I went on to a flight to comparison site called eDreams and looked at something that suited us best uh, to go from Paris to Delhi to Tokyo and back. We found a flight leaving on the 25th of July from Paris, coming back on the 3rd of September with Lufthansa and ANA, and it cost 957 euros, um, which seemed like a good price. Because we were quite a long way ahead of the departure gate, date, they also offered something called flexible travel data, which cost 101 euros per person, and I decided to buy it because you never know quite what would happen in the meantime. So I did that. Anyway, we got to the 17th of July, so a week before departure, and I saw my schedule was not so busy. And so I thought, well, I'll take advantage of that and I'll go two days early. So I wouldn't leave on the 25th, I would leave on the 21st. I um, called them up, a lot of difficulty, and said I'd like to change my flight. They said, that's okay. It'll cost, I said, I only need to change the first leg Paris to Delhi. The rest is okay. And they said, yeah, we can do that. It'll cost you 1,000 euros per person for the change. I said, what the hell? I paid for a special flexible tra travel date option on my ticket. You should be doing this free. And they said, no, we shouldn't. Hard luck. So I wrote to them on the 17th and I complained. Um, saying that this was unacceptable. No reply. The 19th, uh, I called them again. Uh, I wrote to them again. No reply. And since I was going to be leaving in, uh, I wanted to leave four days later, I then started posting complaints <laughs> on Trustpilot, writing to you, writing to the Association of Consumers in Spain, because it's a Spanish company. And by a miracle, on the 20th of uh, July, I got a reply published on Trustpilot by eDreams, which said, call us, we'll sort it all out for you. So, of course, I thought, well, maybe they're going to sort it all out for me. So I got called by a nice guy from them, from India, who sorted out a new flight for me but it was gonna cost 130 euros for the change for each of us. So they came up with a solution for 10% of the price, huh? but they still wanted to charge 130 euros. At that point, I wrote to them and I said, well, look, we're not gonna change it, um, but your, your policy is worth nothing. So either do the change free or reimburse the 101 euros we paid for flexible flight things. That seemed to me quite a reasonable offer. And at that point, I wrote a review saying that they had come back, they had called me back and they had done something and I was waiting for better news. At that point, they started writing to me. They wrote to me and they said I had not bought something called flexible, um, flexible travel date. I had bought flexible travel cover, which was covered by an insurance company called you and Europe Assistance. So that I could accept their offer and I could write to Europe Assistance to get reimbursed from them. 
I didn't believe that because something like Europe assistance is normally for medical urgencies. Uh, and that's why they reimburse you because you've got a medical urgency. I didn't have a medical urgency. I just wanted to change my uh, flight. And um, I pointed this out to them and we did agree that I would not get this 130 euros back. And they were not willing to uh, pay back my 101 euros because they said I bought an insurance. I told them you did not say this was an insurance. It was called a flexible price, flexible ticket uh, cover, uh, sorry, flexible ticket data. And um, that's as far as I got. So I wrote to Trust Pilots again and wrote here, then another. And after a few months, just basically gave up. This is uh, not a consumer orientated company and they misname things and I just feel ripped off. Well, that's, I mean, I'm very easily bought off with money. Yeah? <laughs> so if they reimbursed this insurance comp company, I would use them again. Clearly, I would pay a lot of attention not to buy anything extra. But the flight was with good airlines. The information was good. It was a genuine flight ticket that was bought. I had no problem with that. Just I think I was ripped off. And I didn't like their attitude about it, which was very unhelpful. First of all, I got a guy called Liam. And then he fobbed me off with a guy called Richard. But actually, the only nice person in the company was a guy called Nihal, who was working in the Indian exchange office, who changed the ticket. No problem, just, you know, give him the money and I'd forget it. But I had actually kind of written the money off and written the case off. You know, life is quite short.